Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on Team Apps TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming out the first time. If you are regular, just to the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may also see what we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in two terms. With Mbabwin, Catholic priest Father Fidelis Mukonori's call for main opposition Triple C leader Nelson Chamisa to accept defeat in the recent elections and seek talks with President Emerson Munangagwa has been given short shrift and swiftly rejected. Mukonori, who played an instrumental role in Munangagwa's ascendancy through a November 2017 coup, he has urged Jamisa to concede defeat and engage his rival as the winner. The one who says, I'm not satisfied and I believe the elections were not free and fair should also have the courage. It takes courage for someone to say, let us sit down and talk. It takes wisdom and courage is wisdom. It is essential for the two to sit down and discuss. Discussions are more difficult than toying on the streets and you to get people. They are more difficult because they require thinking and it is an exercise which is not textbook and thinking requires someone who has to know how to think. So Mukonori also said Chamisa was not too late to seek an audience with Munangagwa and engage in talks that he has already framed and characterized as between the winner, Munangagwa, and the loser, Chamisa. However, the, a senior Triple C official and who is also the deputy spokesperson, Gift Ostalo Siziwa, said that while they appreciated Mukonori's score, such initiatives must be based on facts and not on fiction. He said, while the overtures of church leaders to try and resolve the political and constitutional crisis which intensified after the shambolic 23 August 2023 polls is welcome, it must be based on correct facts of the matter. The election was a sham because the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission violated the constitution, electoral law, and regional and international guidelines on conducting free fair, credible, and verifiable polls. This fact was well captured by all observer missions, including the church which Father Mukonori represents. Egregious violations of the law by Zach mean that we hardly have any election to be talking about. Hence, we and all progressive forces have called for a fresh election, scaffolded by neutral, domestic, regional, and international bodies. Father Mkonori knows that only free people can enter negotiations and indeed recognize any form of authority. As it stands, Mnangagwa has abused his access to the state machinery and reins of power to consolidate his illegitimate claim to the presidency. Triple C members are daily being abducted, tortured, and jailed without trial, while state security institutions and the judiciary have been weaponized to suppress the exercise of peaceful process. We have leaders and members like Job Sikala who have been incarcerated for over a year on the back of flimsy political charges. The starting point of Father Mukwenor's goal should have been directed to President Mnangagwa to respect and uphold the constitution and immediate release of all political prisoners. Father Mukonori should also apply liberation theology in his interpretation of and approach to resolving this Zimbabwean crisis that we are in. And the liberation theology demands that we use the perspective of the poor and oppressed to see and explain political and civil problems. In this case, it is the ordinary Zimbabweans we have been robbed by a few individuals who have captured the state and its institutions for private gain. Victims can therefore not be asked to accept defeat and seek dialogue. If anything, victims must be afforded justice and in this case that can only be achieved through a fresh election in which the will of the people is freely expressed. Ciziva. 
also say dual calls for talks are noble and the triple c fully subscribes to them the church must also make sure such important pronouncements standing on the pedestal of morally sound propositions not on shaky pillars of flawed and disputed elections so this is what we have Australos Ziva is taking a jibe at the Roman Catholic priest Father Connery, who insinuated that Nelson Chamisa must just concede defeat and engaged in talks with President Emerson Munangago. Anokoni Kenyan Faru, Honorable Madiva.